Scribble Arts to me is a journey, is a journey through life, is a journey through my own backstory. I'm a follower, I'm a scribble artist and a photographer. It's been a challenging one. I can't say it's been perfect. There's been lots of ups and downs, but along the line, I've been able to learn and discover more things about myself, things I didn't know before. Recently, I was able to get funds, gather funds for a new studio, because earlier, I couldn't create works because I didn't have a space. My works were getting messed up, and I wasn't just in a convenient space. I wasn't in a place where I could actually create work. So I recently got a new studio and um, ever since I did that, my workflow has actually been quite easy and faster. I get to work almost every day, even when I have blocks. When I don't feel like, I just tend to like, um, I tend to draw most of the time. If I'm not working on my canvas, I'm working on my sketchbook. And to me, I feel like that's progress. So recently I worked on um, a team called um, Preacher Don't Preach Me Nonsense and was inspired by all the things that have been happening around me um, and also churches, all the um, videos that have been popping out on Instagram, on social media basically about false pastors, false pro prophecy. This actually inspired this pieces. This has been like my most challenging year so far because I had to like face um, different issues. I had to face financial issues because I mean, I had to start paying rent, getting a studio to getting art materials. I mean, I started creating on canvas this year. I started creating on canvas for the first time, life sizes canvas, and I didn't know that um, I would need a large budget to actually start that. So a lot of money has gone into that. Then I had to double my work. I do photography. So most times when I'm not getting money from art, I have to seek jobs for photography to up for my passion. So most times I'm either doing photography or I'm doing art. And then also family issues. Like I've been chasing acceptance all my life, trying to get people to believe in me, trying to get my parents to actually see what I do and also accept me the way I am. That okay, yes, this is an affair and she loves art. She wants to focus on art for the rest of her life here. So it's been really challenging. And this year my parents came over to my friend's studio where I actually used to work before I was able to get my own studio. My parents came over and it was like really shocking, like it was so shocking to me. I really appreciated it. I was so happy. It was an emotional, like it was an emotional moment, a very, very emotional moment for me. And also I got platforms, I got um, exhibition slots. I also got nominated for the Future Awards this year, which it's kind of like a big thing to me. Actually, it's a big thing to me because, I mean, I never saw that coming. I just thought this year would just come and just go like that. But just at the end of the year, everything just started panning out all for me. Um, so far, this year has actually been great because um, there's, there's been lots of ups and downs, like I said earlier, there's been challenges, but at the same time, I took a leap of faith. I, uh, I traveled places, places I never thought I would actually go to. I discovered more things about myself. I gathered more experiences about places, and I've been able to bring them back home here in Nigeria. And most of the experiences I gathered out there has served as an inspiration also to um, the works I've created so far. And also, um, I've had four exhibitions so far, and I have like some other ones to come. I've had one in a motion art gallery, Abuja, yeah, I really want to thank Mr. Mohamed Ketchen of Motion Arts Gallery for the opportunity, actually. It's been a great one. It's covered um, 10 female artists, and so far the exposure has been great. And then it's gotten me to places I never thought I would be in the first place. I also want to thank Mr. Nonso Okwala for believing in me, for believing in this talent that I have. And then I also thank um, Oinda Fakeye for the exposure and for the platform also she has given me. I thank my friends and my family for believing in me, for supporting me. Even times when I thought I was going to give up, times when I thought I wasn't anything, I really give thanks to them and also God. Then um, I would like to talk about artists who feel like 
they need opportunities. Opportunities need to come to them before they actually work. I don't think you should wait for opportunities to come to you. Nobody will bring the food to the table unless you actually go get it. Your pencil, number one, is your, is your wand. Your pencil is what to take you around the world. Your skill is what to take you around the world. It is what makes you stand out amongst every other person. So you've got you as your superhero. You don't need to wait for anybody to come help you. The moment you start, people will start noticing you. And when they start noticing you, maybe they can help you. But what if the help don't come? You still need to be your own self-motivation. You need to be your own cheerleader. So I advise all the artists out there not to lie lazy, not to stay lazy. Just keep doing it. Just keep working and don't sleep.